it's going to fall. It's swine. Damn thing. Right, hold on. Aha. Hello, YouTube. And hello, those people on Reddit that wanted me to do a video on how to add glow resin to uh, the little recesses, the little nooks and crannies that you might want to embellish on things like spinners, knives, and indeed objects uh, such as those supplied by Dam Designs. Now, there are a few things that you're going to need before you start. Uh, one of them is, um, it's gonna be a banana. You're gonna need that, and that'll come in handy later on. The other thing that you're gonna need is a megaphone. Now, it doesn't need to be a particularly loud megaphone. Attention, please. Ah, uh, lady, sorry about that. I know she's coming up. Right, that, but you'll need this uh, for uh, something coming up later on um, because science has proved that one of the best ways to dry uh, glow resin is by shouting at it from a short distance using a basic megaphone. Um, this video uh, is going to be the only one. Ah, oh, yes, done it again, you swine. Just don't bear with, bear with. Now, you see, I'm deliberately going to leave all this in because then you can see how much of a complete... If you if you move during this, I will kill you. Um, how much of a an idiot you can be uh, to do this reasonably well. You need no DIY experience at all or the benefit of any knowledge other than what I'm going to give you here, and that will be deeply flawed, but hopefully enough. So let's see what we are going to need. We're going to need some resin. And the stuff you want to get hold of is this. It's... Araldite, Professional Adhesives, Crystal, Crystal Clear, Fast Setting, Glass and Jewellery. And it's a two-part epoxy. Uh, and you're going to mix that in just a moment. And the other very, very important ingredient that you're going to use is this, which is sourced from the UK, mine. And this is going to be Blue Star Glow Powder, okay? And it's um, oh, about 10, 15 pounds, something like that for a large sample. Should last you ages, unless, of course, you you lose the first bag and have to order more glue because you've lost that as well. That's another story. You're probably going to need some uh, cotton wool buds. These are mine, carefully selected. Uh, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to use um, some acetate um, in this just for a bit of the sort of like, you know, OCD removal. Um, I wouldn't use this on plastic if, you found, if you're going to use, you know, some, use it on plastic. Um, it should be okay on metal. Hopefully, it won't do anything to the uh, heat-treated uh, titanium that I'm going to use it on. Um, but we've got that there. Uh, alcohol, and maybe even just water, if it's in the early stages, will, will work just as well if it's on plastic. But if it's on metal, you should be should be good to go. <laughs> okay, so here we also have some of these nail polish remove, uh, remover pads, which I also purchased uh, for this. You, you're going to need some scissors. Um, and um, probably some sort of basic, uh, um, you know, non, um, non, non illegal, open, um, basic sort of knife flowers. Rather nice one. I not mind about a bit. There we go. Right. So um, let's get started. Um, what I intend to do is take one of my son's. Uh, oh yeah, a couple of other things. Um, <clears throat> cut the tip off um, one of these um, little um, cotton wool buds, and you'll need some sort of basic uh, thing for. Um, smearing into the gap i found this from uh, some sort of ice cream tub um, i also may uh, resort to this which is a useful little guide it's positive steps to well-being let's let's take a moment be kind to yourself exercise regularly hobbies can you read that i can't read that i've got my glasses on i still can't read it can't the focus oh come on and Thank you. Hobbies, new skill. Have fun. Be creative. That's what we're doing today. Help others. Hmm. Rest and relaxation. I doubt that somehow. Eat healthily. That is 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 actually what what, what, what that's going to be for. Um, balance sleep. Never tried to do my sleep from now. Good one, by the way. If you wake up in the morning after some sort of gathering or party at somebody's house and someone says to you, Oh, yeah, UK, how did you sleep? Your reply must be, Well, I made a few mistakes at the start, but I think I got the hang of it by the end. Connect with connect with others getting focused. 
Beware alcohol and drugs. Yeah, tricky to get hold of some of those drugs, I know. See the bigger picture. Wow, wow. Maybe you should hold it down there. And it is as it is. Hmm. Anything on the back? Nothing. So what we're going to do with this is um, we're going to we're going to cut it because um, we might have a positive use for this rhetorical nonsense later on. And I'm going to do a few of those because there's bound to be some mess ups. Okay, let's cut to the chase. Bit of plastic, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card um, holder. There. Let's crack open the uh, the Araldite now. Of course, this. We'll probably going to fit from a knife. Um, we are doing it live now, so let's get those two out. Let's open the glow powder. Now, of course, under these circumstances, you don't want to... <laughs> now, perhaps I should have mentioned. When you start working with adhesive and glow powder, do be aware that only an idiot will work without gloves. And the reason that an idiot will work without gloves is because they want their hands to turn blue at night. You can be lying there, one or two o'clock in the morning, reaching for the alcohol or the drugs or maybe a cup of tea i don't know whatever your preferred quaff is at that time of the evening and if the lights are off you'll notice a strange glow emanating from your hands and think my hands are turning blue uh, it's nothing to do with a, um, a nuclear meltdown it's actually to do with you've got residue of this and it takes ages to come off which is a great thing if you're doing something like this because you don't want it to come off but not so good if it's on your hands so as i say only an idiot will work without gloves and you know keep their jewellery on and stuff. So let's askew that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this glow powder. Now, I don't know which order you're supposed to do this in. It's a bit of a... Bit of a uh, my, my father appears to be ringing me on my mobile phone yet again, but you're not going to put me off this time, Dan. I'm not answering it. Okay, so I'm going to wang a little bit of this. Now, they do say don't use much, only use it sparingly. Will that be enough? Is that enough? Do you think that's enough? Is that enough? Should we go with that? Should we go? Let's just tip a little bit more. That's probably... You glow resin aficionados out there are going to go, my God, he's using half the bag. Now, if I am busted at this point by the local constabulary, who were, you know, we did talk about it a, a previous uh, dramatic monologue, um, then um, they're going to wonder what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I assure you, <laughs> this will have no <laughs> no effect on your nasal cavities other than possibly uh, irritating them and maybe turning them blue, which might be a nice effect should you wish to. Uh, it's already got it on my hands, but there we are. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our arrow You notice how I scrape that to one side there. Brilliant work. I'm going to take our arrow and I'm going to go with the part A first because it says part A and... Uh, oh, you swine. Ah! Always a tip for you. Invert the cap. Let's get in. There we go. Okay. Oh, you cheeky swine. That's coming out there, isn't it? That's like some of those films that we used to watch. Right, there we go. So let's bang that on there. Now, we don't need much. <laughs> okay. Oh, go on. We'll put a bit more of that because we are doing two uh, objets d'art there. Okay. It just occurred to me that I have missed out a slight stage, but we'll come back to it. As long as I don't let these two mix, it's not a problem. Okay, and then we're going to take part B, and this will dry crystal, okay, clear, like glass. Okay, I soon found out how to heart a glass. Um, actually, before I do this, because <laughs> it is cock up laden, let's just do the bit that I didn't do, and I have done here, and that's just apply some masking tape to the uh, object that is going to be uh, glow resin filled. And as you can see, this is a pound by Damn Designs, which I've lightly flamed to a sort of a bronzy color. And it's this X zero or naught or O, depending on which you look at it. And this underlining little bit here that we're gonna, we're gonna back fill. And now I'll put the glow, uh, put the masking tape around it. Not so much for the sake of like, he wants even lines and accuracy. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. It's more the fact that I don't want to get too much glow resin actually on the object. Let's do this one before we start mixing the glues, which would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? Now you don't have to be too accurate about this. Uh, so I'm just going to get my, uh, my masking tape and approximately, it will help a little bit in the result that you won't have to maybe hopefully wipe as much away but we'll just wang that round there like that and then we're not we're not too fussy here there we go rip that off and uh use a teeth on that uh there we go and can you see what i'm doing there can you see this is a really technical bit i'm going to put that over there like that and uh there we go, jobs are good. And, and although, you know, it's not exactly dead on, doesn't really matter. And then just, you know, for a bit of sort of um, balance, a symmetry, we'll stick a, a bit on here, there, like that. There we go, around there, try and keep it on camera. 
fold that round there and then we'll do this as well you know blue peter they should have got me on about 30 years ago mm, i'd have been off in about two episodes though right okay let's move on put this on here there we go is that accurate there that's reasonably okay so we're just wanging that round there like that and there we go that's 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 basically it ish right okay so we can move forward now. sorry right it's gonna get you vermin Swine, uh, if you a license for the monkey, sorry, minky. This is tripod today. Don't touch the tripod. Right, okay. This that goes again in the middle of this. We could have a camera phone filled with glue and blow, blow, blow resin. I'm gonna bang this, which I assume is probably the the hardener, and I'm on a fairly equal amount because that's what they tell you to do. And that looks like it's going to level out as being fairly equal. Yeah, what do you think? Are we looking good? Doesn't it look nice? I mean, you could just leave it leave it like that. You could always just drop the glue all over yourself as well. That's why I'm uh, not in my best gear. I'm going to put the lid on this. Sorry, cap. And now we're going to mix our glow resin. Maybe a little bit too much hardener there, but oh, come on. Let's just wang it together. And all I literally am going to do here, I see what I'm doing here, is I'm just going to get all of this and I'm just going to go... Now you, of course, who may be an expert, will say, no, 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 this is all wrong. Ah, getting another phone call from my father. That must be something desperate in need. Let's hope it's something serious. Well, I'm just going to start wanging this around a bit. And I'm, I'm probably, you know, starting to turn a sort of a mucousy yellowy colour. I don't think I'm going to use all the glow resin in this. But I'm going to get to the point. Now, I'm going to do the two items one after the other simply because this goes oh god this goes off rather quickly so here we go and i'm getting this all nicely mixed in together so the hardener and the adhesive are well blended oh go on let's bung a bit more in with the glow powder if this doesn't light up like blackpool illuminations then uh, i don't know what will now here we go okay now you need to work quickly at this point Okay, because this is getting to the point now I can feel it's fairly stiff and it's going to start stiffening quite quickly. Now, while you've got the glow on there, you're going to be amazed at what I'm about to do, really. And and, and that really is it. I'm just going to basically take the um, this and kind of, well, you know, wang that on there like that. There we go. It's uh, a bit messy. Yeah, look at that, huh? And you're thinking, hasn't he made a right dog's breakfast of that? But no, 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 no. Now, I'm just going to give that a couple of minutes. Just give it a couple of minutes, okay? And while that's starting to go off, I'm going to then take the other one and repeat the same procedure. Now, this is where the... I've not actually used the um, masking tape before. I normally just do it very accurately. But uh, just to show that any idiot can do it. Uh, here we are. Ah, uh, there. This one's backfilling. It's, going to be a little bit of it's already starting to go on me. I've got to work quickly. There we go. Now, I'm fairly confident that I've got that into the gap there. Okay. So, I'm going to, I'm going to shift this slightly out of the way like that. And just take a drink of tea thank you now i'm going to take my little my little card here laminated card and i'm just going to do this and simply can you see you can't see let's go across here like that let's not not get the cloth into there okay because it's already starting to go off so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and go kachunkers Across like that. And you can see there's a little bit mess there, so I'm just gonna go blinky 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 and I'm gonna make sure that's fairly well filled up there. Okay. Let's get rid of some of this gubbins here as well. Okay. How's that cooking? I can just about see that's okay. Just take a bit off there. And I think we are ready now to um I'm gonna do the other one at the same time. Okay, I'm going to use the other side and I'm just going to go 
across and it should you can see that it's in there you can see it's smeared in okay then I'm gonna get rid of that one and then I'm gonna take another one of these and I'm just gonna go across again making sure you've got a nice even job which I will now the only problem is of course a lot of that's gonna go blue so I've got to get rid of that stuff we'll do that in just a minute that's what the acetone's for I've still got a little problem with that one, doesn't want to fill there, I don't know why that is. Now, of course, some people would say, idle spin, you should have cleaned it out first with some acetone. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. Right. That looks okay, doesn't it? So there you can see that the glow resin is in there. Now, what we're going to do is attempt to remove the residual glow resin. Now... This can be the only issue, really, with the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this acetone, okay? I think I'll leave the bottle open and risk spillage. And I'm going to take my cotton wool bud, and I'm now going to very, very carefully, and I, I really could do it more light myself here, and I'm going to just start working away. Now, this is going off all the time. And that's a good thing because it's starting to fill those recesses to the point whereby I'm probably going to be able to use my cotton wool bud very slightly over the top and start to clear away the little bits that I don't want. Now, I'm not going to take this masking tape off yet, but I am going to take it off soon. Okay, now you might think, oh, I, I want, I wanted a demonstration where he makes the acid, um, makes the glow resin stand proud. Well, that could be achieved. Um, that could easily be done. I'm, but I've never actually tried that, and this video isn't really about me doing that. It's just about the method, and of course, it's starting to look a bit gacky. Let's go back to this one. This one is coming along quite nicely. We're going to need some uh, I say methadone for some reason. Um, yeah, <laughs> that'll certainly clear something. Okay, and I'm just taking this off. With one of these. You need a few of these, aren't you? And uh, that's just Judunkers. And here we have our first potential cock up because on this one, has it? So. If that's the case, because it hasn't gone off yet, I'm going to wang a little bit more of my glow resin in there. Still active. Because I want to try and get a nice finish on it. Okay, now let's stick that back in and re... And you can re-layer and fill over the top on these, I believe. Now, here's the thing. And here's something to be aware of. Um, when you have um, added your first layer of glow resin and then you add your second the second can sometimes take the first away so i'm going to go back in here and just now i know most people would at this point very sensibly pause the video and show the um and it is a lot easier than i'm making it look and show the end result what i'm going to do is i'm going to let that set for a little bit and work on the other one i think let's just take off some of the governs okay that looks okay this one's coming out all right. Okay, so I'm going to take off the... Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to just work on this for a little bit longer. Drop that to one side. I just want to get into the, um, the bits that are not kind of... And I can't... I've got to be honest. I can't really see very well due to the lighting, and I'm not sure what you can see. And I've got my glasses on, but I'm very carefully... And I've got to say, doing this on camera is nerve-wracking. Oh, bollocks. See what happened there? Okay, another quick back fill. Right. I think what I'm going to need to do is, is something a little bit more sensible. As you can see, it's on my fingers. Is And, and what I'm going to have to do is wait a little bit longer. Before I start removing. Now, really, this is starting to go off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to attempt to pause this video, right? Let that go off a little bit and then come back to it. Now, let's just hope that when I touch this screen, um, I don't get any blue resin on it and the thing doesn't collapse. 
Okay, I'll be back um, when this has gone off a little bit more. Hello, I should be back. Right, okay, all I've literally done is give my hands a quick wash and um, give them another quick wipe round. And what I think I'm going to do is remove the, the masking tape. Um, and what that's going to give is um, an idea uh, what it's going to look like. Uh, but there's going to be some residue that I'm going to get off. need to still get off, but I can't get off until I remove that masking tape. So here we go. Now at the moment you can see that we have these sort of very, very poor light. I'm really sorry it's not the best day for it. And if I get any blue on the project, as it were, on the item, I'll just work that off with some acetone. Okay, we're staying on camera here. So you can see that. <laughs> I mean, you could conceivably leave it like that. It looks like it's been stickered. But I'm, I'm not going to leave it like that. Um, I do intend to go over that. Yeah, and I am going to get some stuff on it. But that's one of those things. This one has seems to be a bit thicker uh, let's see how this one looks when we take it off it does dry relatively quickly that other way and it is I have found usually fairly straightforward to work with but being on camera and trying to demonstrate um, means I'm making myself look more incompetent than I actually am incompetent. That's not quite right. And it's at this point you start to think, I wish I hadn't done those jokes about the megaphone. Off we come. There we are now. <laughs> Here is the issue. At what point do I go back in and start working on removing the... Come off. Gosh, what's this? The strongest masking tape in the world. Let's hope it's not glued on. Please don't be glued on. Uh, oh, God. I think I'm going to leave the yank. No, I'm not. Oh, God. No. I told you to be entertaining. I was going to be glue all over the flipping tripod. Oh, no. Wear gloves. What's, what's holding this up now that isn't holding it? It wasn't all... Oh, no. Change the angle a bit. There we go. Oh, that's useless, that now, isn't it? Right, okay. Right, okay. Let's see what we can get off. And we need more light in here, I know. And this just what doesn't want to behave today. And I don't know why it doesn't want to behave for me. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do some scraping. When the tripod decides it's going to stay where it is. Secure the thing. Hang on. Okay, let's try this. Oh, right, that might suit you better anyway. You know, I'm starting to get... I'm going to take a little bit of water on this, just warm water. Just a little bit of warm water. And I'm just going to start seeing what I can work off here and what we're hoping is that I am going to be able to remove any of the residue let me get on that camera for you residue resin that is lurking and it's starting to come. And you must do this before it hardens, because otherwise you're you're stuffed. And I suppose the method really is it's kind of like you know in a sandwich shop where you might have sandwiches and you spread butter all over the sandwich and then unbutter it to then do the next slice. Okay, so I'm getting as much of that off as I can with this. That's my dad ringing for the third time. I'm really going to have to answer this, so at some point I need to get a move on. So 
going to have a quick look at that close up for a second. Okay, it's not absolutely perfect in one area, but that's just me being OCD. Okay, we're going to leave it like that for a bit and we're going to go and do the other one. I don't want to risk putting a cloth on that to dry that yet. So let's just have a crack at the other one and let's hope this one works as well. I'm going to take some again, warm water on this spatula. And you can see I've gone very serious now. <laughs> because I'm not, not doing the comedy because it's like, oh my God, this is going so wrong. Please don't go wrong for me. Come on, baby. Oh, it's not going so well there. Let's go the other way. We can see it. This is going to work. I don't think this is going to work. On this one, let's just see if it will. Yeah, this one is not going to play ball with me. think we might have a small issue with this one unless I can resurrect it. I'm using my fingernail now. Now we're, now we're into the territory of, hey, it's starting to become, you know, I'm not giving up and you're not going to win. It's still malleable enough for me to be able just to work it into the odd crevice that has appeared because I started this process a little bit too early on this one. Um, I'm now debating whether I want to remove this or whether I want to, which I might do. We'll see how it turns out. Okay. Let's go with this one, leave that for a little, come back to this one. And now we're going to go in with the acetone. And hopefully, I'm really hoping this is set enough for this to work. I'm going to draw my finger across just removing now the excess from the sides and it's a bit like peeling a sticker off an item that you bought and I think we're at the point where I'm going to stop and let this go off even more and then go in with a fingernail for accuracy because I don't think that's benefiting at anything at all me doing that. Let's come back to this comedian, see what we can do with this one. We're down on we're down using like you know the fingers now. And the acetone will hopefully smooth things out a little bit for me. But this has not gone quite according to the simple plan that I had in my head, which was get up and just do this. Okay, just run my nail across the bottom of that. I think alcohol works better than acetone. You can see that I can still remove, but because I'm of that OCD mind, I like to have the shape as perfect as I possibly can. And that, to my eyes, is not great. See it. 
Mm. Okay. Let's see what we can take out the edges and the sides. Just try and even that out. I'm coming off camera there, shouldn't do. And I think what I'm going to need to do is let that dry a little bit more. So I'm going to pause the video again, let it dry a little bit more, and um, ring my dad on the other phone. And um, we'll see how that turns out. I'll come back in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and it's it's literally only a few minutes, and what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to get the residue, the remaining residue, off. Now, it's filled, okay, and it's not as deeply filled on that line as I would have liked. All right, pick that up. And you can see there's a little bit of lacking in the, the O there on that one. This one has come out much better. That could be redone. I mean, it'll look fine. This one's come out much better. And as you can see, um, you've got your X and your O filled. Okay, and that one's worked all right, no problem. Maybe I should just try and do one at a time, and maybe it would have been better to have had a quick practice to reacquaint myself with how to do it. But certainly, there is a point at which you should not try and remove the glow resin while it's curing, and um, also a point at which you should definitely then do it. And it's a case of like just judgment. That's irritatingly close to being spot on but it, it it isn't to me i can now touch it it's fine um i can probably also now dry it off a little bit let's get a piece of kitchen rub and just see if we did manage to get the residue of that glue off because it's still got acetone on it let me pop that on there this has turned into this was supposed to be a, a, a 10 minute you know video and it's turned into something horrendous now i what I'll try and do is I'll pause the video again and I'll, I'll get as, as the lights out in here and just see if at this stage it, it were I'm sure it's an idiot off camera. I'm really sorry about this. Anyone wanted to come on and say, hey, you made a right dog's breakfast at that idol. You know, um, well, the weather was alright to an extent, but I am just, you know, just trying to help. Okay, right. I'm going to pause again. I'm going to kill the lights and we're going to see what we're going to get. Okay. So let's get them in there. Like that. Okay. And we'll pause one more time. Hello again, YouTube. Um, this really doesn't want to work. Um, that may have been a small delay for you, uh, but uh, quite a big one for me because I broke the Venetian blinds. I don't know what you can see here because my eyesight is shot having been <laughs> using a torch in a dark room. But here they are both filled. On the right we have the tag. And I can't really get this in focus because the camera isn't leaning against a wall. And here we have the pound on the left. Okay, and you can see that it's worked and it looks reasonably accurate. Let me just see if I can get those in better focus for you by moving the camera angle. And no, I can't really, can I? I do apologise about that. Well, it's been a bit of a disastrous um, video. It's supposed to be slick, but it was about as, you know, slick as, I don't know, sandpaper against sandpaper. So I'll post some pictures later on of these two in low light on Reddit, and I'll add a link to this, this video. I hope to those people that... Um, <laughs> wanted me to do this that you're happy that I've gone through <laughs> this torture um, what started out as as, as a, and I, I've not even brought the megaphone up to help with the drawing so what started out as a, as a oh I know I'll do a little video over these people it'll, it'll, it won't run above 35 minutes oh my gosh I do apologise I've had a go I hope it's been useful you can take a lot more time and care over it than I did Thank you, YouTube, and thank you to my friends on Reddit.